Hey guys, so I just went ahead and uh, got this package delivered from Revzilla. And this is my new Saddleman Explorer. And this is how it showed up. The tape's all broken. This flap was just open, you can see the seat in there. Hopefully the seat's okay. Uh, it doesn't look too damaged. It doesn't look like that this side is much better. Looks like they tried to go ahead and uh, tape it shut after it had already come undone. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what happens. So the seat looks relatively okay. Uh, it's still in a plastic bag, so that's good. I'm not seeing any rips or tears in the bag, so that's partially good news. It's uh, attached here. Bag is closed with a zip tie. So let's go ahead and clip that. There we go, there she is. The leather looks pretty good. I think we're in good shape. Looks like we got some instructions here. All right, so we need to take that bracket, spin it around, and uh, reinstall it. Five thirty seconds hex bit. Almost forgot. Now I'm not sure if this is a problem, but I did notice that they only sent me one screw for the uh, seat, and there appears to be a hole for a second one, but I didn't receive it. I'm not sure if anybody else out there with these seats had received two or not, but we're gonna run with one, I guess. So for those that are interested, uh, the seat that this uh, will be replacing is just the stock Harley Iron 883 seat um, with the uh, the attached pillion. Um, so let's go ahead and take this off. All right. Well, <clears throat> there's the two seats side by side. Obviously, the uh, Saddleman on the left, and on the right you have the stock Harley seat. Um, Obviously the stock hardly is a two-piece. There's the bottom of both seats. You could really tell the difference in quality. Uh, with the saddleman here, you can see how all the fabric is riveted, whereas on the Harley it's all stapled. And the Harley seat doesn't have any rubber bumpers like you see here. And also the, uh, the tongue on the front is a lot wider than on the Harley seat. Um, definitely a big difference. One other big difference that I'm noticing is that the Saddleman seat doesn't have the catch like the Harley seat does. It's got a spot for it, but it doesn't actually interface um, with the bike. Just something to know. Let's go ahead and throw the new seat on. I'm going to have to take this off. All right, now with the uh, sissy bar off there, I was able to fit the seat on. So let's screw it down. I guess one thing to note about this is anybody that's wanting to run this seat with a uh, detachable sissy bar from Harley. Um, I don't believe that you can remove this seat without taking the detachable sissy bar off. So I just had to put the sissy bar back on and you can see that in order to get it to sit in the front hardware here, 
that you kind of have to squish the seat because the seat itself is actually just a little bit wider than the uh, the bar. All right, and that's all locked in. And we're done. And that is the uh, installation of the Stadelman Explorer seat. Looks good. Looks like they also sent uh, this washer here. We can go ahead and add that. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but at least it'll uh, save from scratching up the paint. So I guess it looks like we got some riding to do. Thank you.